Hey, it's Corey from First Line. Today we're going to take a break about talking about coronavirus, and we're going to talk about First Line and First Line Utilization Academy, and where First Line came from, what we do, and why we've created this academy. So, First Line's motto is Lab to Life Saving, and one of the things that we do as a company is we work with private labs, we work with military labs, and we work with universities to take emerging technologies that have use for first responders in the military, and we develop those technologies into a usable end product, and then we distribute those technologies with the training that goes along with them to our end users. And to that extent, we've created this First Line Utilization Academy. And we provide training, we provide on-site training, we do train the trainers here in Virginia. But one of the other things that we do is we develop the actual procedures and the techniques to use this technology. And one of the things I wanna talk about today is our actual training products. A lot of people are, are not aware that on the decon line, we actually have training product. We have training FiberTech and we have training Dahlgren decon. So we've had training FiberTech and training Dahlgren for quite some time now, but frankly, those products weren't very good. So we actually went back to the drawing board and we developed something that I feel is now a very good end product for the user to be able to train with this equipment. And anytime you have new equipment, anytime, especially you have a new procedure, training, 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 is so important before you have to use it in the real world. So I'm going to talk about the training FiberTech first. Uh, it comes in the same packaging. All of our training stuff is labeled with bright NATO blue, so you know it's the right stuff. Uh, and you can see the training FiberTech. It's actually made in the same facility now and with some of the same materials as the, re as the real FiberTech. Again, blue. Uh, you would want to make sure that you're not uh, confusing your real world and your training at all. We've made it quite easy to distinguish. Um, and it's layers of polyester and a foam filler. So nothing toxic in this. You can use it on your skin. It's not going to react with anything. Um, just a really good, a really good solid training product. And it's not going to disintegrate or come apart. It's very sturdy product as well. So we have training Dahlgren Decon. We went back to the drawing board with this product. Uh, we incorporated some of the chemists and scientists that developed, originally developed Dahlgren Decon to come up with a really good training product. The important thing to remember when using training Dahlgren Decon is that regular Part A is a skin safe soap. The Part A that is in the training Dahlgren Decon is not a skin safe soap. It's not going to burn your skin unless you have very sensitive skin. It's essentially the equivalent of household white vinegar. This was necessary so that it would mix right and smell right. So we're going to mix it up to show you that it, that it uh, does work uh, same exact process. So first thing I do is empty the part A into my Vixen container. Don't need to add any water, just like normal Dahlgren decon that's ready to use. All right, next we take our B1, pour that in, and stir. So this process, the process of stirring B1, it should take exactly the same amount of time as if you were doing regular Dahlgren decon. 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how warm it is outside, and primarily how warm your part A is. And you see, while I'm doing this, I am scraping, I'm stirring. I'm not stirring really hard. I don't need to agitate it. I just need to keep that liquid moving. And every now and then I scrape in the bottom. And that's mainly to make sure nothing clumps up and really just to see how much is dissolved. So now I've scraped along the bottom. I don't see any flakes that are undissolved. Um, I can actually feel there's a little bit of a heat reaction that's occurred. Um, no more than a few degrees, and that's going to be about the same as when you put the B1 in, in uh, Part A in regular Dahlgren Decon. Next step, Part B2, and just dump it in while I mix, and this is the same way we suggest mixing regular Dahlgren Decon. All right, I want to make sure I get all my B2 in there. Then I might have to shake it out a little bit. And we're good. Okay. So I'm going to stir the same, just nice, steady, even stirring. The one thing that you're going to see that's slightly different in this, other than the fact that the smell is a slight vinegar smell versus a very powerful vinegar smell with real Dahlgren Decon, is that you're not going to quite get a head of foam on the training Dahlgren Decon. Because it is inert, uh, there's not any energetic chemical reaction going on in there that produces that foam. You'll get a little bit of foam just from the soap, 
But if this was real dog and decon, we would see about an inch of foam in the beaker. The process is exactly the same. I stir until I don't see any undissolved solids in the beaker. And this should take 30 seconds to a minute, no more. If it is very cold outside, just like regular Dahlgren Decon, and your Part A is very cold, like anything, a chemical reaction, if it has more heat, it will go faster. So if your Part A is very cold, any reaction, including uh, simply dissolving, will take a longer amount of time. All right. So I can check by scraping along the bottom, make sure I don't have any clumps, make sure I don't have any undissolved solids, and my training dog and decon is ready to use. So our focus at First Line is getting these technologies out of the lab and into the field. And part of that is working with experts in the field, with PhDs, scientists, with subject matter experts internationally to get these products and these procedures and this training out to the end user. Because our end goal is to give that firefighter, police officer, EMT, military service member, a product that can help make their job easier, make their jo job safer, and potentially save lives. So thank you. If you have any questions, if you've got concepts or ideas that you want to see in another video, contact training at firstlinetech.com or just leave a comment in the comment section below.